not sure what that's supposed to signify. Uh, that is a long way down. now would be the opportune moment to be extremely creepy and start having these things fall apart as you walk over them. And I certainly hope I'm not giving the game's ideas. Ah, a door. And it opens in a very inconvenient manner. Fuse fell through the door, or the floor. What the hell? Anything in either of these? No, it doesn't look like it. Ah, this room should serve me well as a potion mixer, with the explosives book being my guide. Ooh! Three painkillers. I assume it's empty shelves. I assume it's trying to tell me that it's going to involve a lot of hurt. The sink's blocked with some amalgam of chemical sludge. Is there any way to clear it? Hmm, perhaps I could use this burner to magnet. <coughs> Jesus Christ, I could. I'm having serious trouble speaking today. Hmm. Perhaps I can use this burner to manufacture a shift. A bit. God damn it. Manufacture a makeshift chemical bomb. If I had the right chemicals. Let us open this. Ah. A fuse. An explosive. Ooh. An insulated pipe running to the furnace. Must be gas. Can I shut it off? No, so I'm just wasting gas now. Glass beakers. Can I interact with the book? A container for mixing chemicals. Let's uh, save before doing anything. If I never see another one of these, I don't know. I don't like the... I've already read this. Okay, and before mixing this, I think I'm going to need to take a quick pit stop at the restroom, so I'll be back in a moment. Alright, now with that out of the way, let's um, get to chemical mixing of chemicals, or something. Hmm, perhaps I could use this burner. Well, it's not lit, so... Oh. Let's light it. Put this here. <clears throat> okay, now let's turn this light on. Open up the notes. And let's write this little clue down once I get this stuff off of my paper. <clears throat> okay, let's cross that one out. This pencil is useless. I've got another one around here, don't I? <sighs> Inconvenient. So B, A, D, C, F, E. Okay, now let's uh, shut that lamp off again. And I'm missing this one with A. Oh, okay, that didn't actually do what I needed. Wait a minute, why am I... Why am I using this? I should be paying attention instead to the explosives book. Red phosphorus and barium. Sulfur can substitute for barium. That's not what I need. Red phosphorus and barium. So I need to build red phosphorus. God, let me write this down. 
red phos for us and barium now let's see how to do this <clears throat> the chemist notes I assume barium phosphorus ah okay so actually I did need that I just didn't quite understand the little puzzle behind this Initially, I just closed my phone, so I've got to... Okay, good. The timer is still running, so I know how much hard drive my space I have left, roughly. Okay, so let me just at least do this. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I will do this Call of Cthulhu style. Um, give me a moment. Transition was not terrible. It probably was because I'm not using any sort of fancy program. Anyway, <clears throat> let's restart this uh, puzzle here. Doing it this way because it's better to have some sort of visual aid rather than just hearing me say, okay, I'm writing this down. So, B, A, so I should focus the camera on what I'm writing. B, A, D, C, F, that's F, not a C, E, okay, this is our previous page, B, okay, let's put these little lines here, god, I hope this works, <laughs> otherwise I'm going to be screwed because I'll have to render this in Windows Movie Maker, so, let's see, B is magnesium, Then calcium, then barium, then chloride. Yes, my handwriting is terrible. Phosphorus, phosphorus, sodium. Presumably, this will be red phosphorus. Possibly. Hmm. So, by virtue of the explosives book, I will need phosphorus and barium. Thus, I will need to... particular order? No, not really. So I need to mix F and D for arm strong mixture. Out of focus, why are you not working? Okay, with that little puzzle solved, <clears throat> let's just take a sip of tea here. So, double checking what I've written down, I need to mix F with D. So, F, and I'm mixing this with not being smart and changing the audio output locations like I should have before, you know, making the transition. Uh, I disappoint myself sometimes. So, I mixed F, now I need to put D in there. Ah, I think that's it. So long as I'm careful when I move it, I should it should stay stable. I've got to carry... Oh man, I've got to carry it around like this the whole time? That's unfortunate. I think that's worthy of a save, though. Not really. 
<clears throat> I mean, in all honesty, that was pretty quick. I mean, everybody get used to that. It's pretty quick. So really, the biggest problem is carrying it across that. Let's just set it down carefully. And from my previous experience, the flare is the brightest of the three light sources you can carry. So I'm just going to use this. Well, I'm glad jumping around like this is considered stable. Not a problem at all, actually. Wow, that was that was actually kind of easy. Okay, so let's carefully move this over here, and it will automatically float over there. So now I need a fuse, and presumably I need to light fuse run away. So let's put this away. Make sure I'm in run mode. Okay. Run! Is this going to be safe? Or is the black guy going to get me over here? No, I guess the explosion's just going to be stuck over there. Man, this is dark. Obviously. <laughs> In fact, they didn't even need to point that out. Oh well, too late now. Seems to be a door over there. Something over there. This door, it's different. Newer than all the others. This must be where Red's been leading me all this time. Can I open it? I can't get a hold of it. I need something to lever it open. Like a crowbear? It's hydraulically sealed. It won't just pry open. Maybe if I could cut the power. Oh boy, cutting the power. That sounds like a great idea. Especially in a place like this where even when the power's on, it's dark as hell. Thule. Can't say anything about that. Another this dumpster is precisely a copy-paste of this dumpster. And there seems to be something there. I don't know if that's because of something messed up with the game, or if it's my good old dying GPU rendering incorrectly. What is this? Good evening. Oh. You, you, you actually came. There is much that should leave my thought box now, but words elude me. You came, you are so pretty, but I have been bad. Where are you? The other world already beckons me, so I suppose one further misdemeanor will change little. It is false pretension, and not guiding light with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought through the vast leaden doorway, or else you will see anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me, in here. So the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you. Hungry behind those doors. As the placements go, you shall be admirably abnormal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you and the voice you knew only as red. For it is I, your companion, residing within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They, and parts of my head, are not my own. And I cannot take my life. It is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend. But now, the time for chit chats and marshmallows by the fire has ended. And I hope that soon, uh, so shall my life. I have knocked on the death's door for so long. Please, 
and let him invite me in the tea. You want me to kill you? Where is he? It's across here. Oh, is this the incinerator? Why would Red want me to kill him? Why like this? What can I do? Supply pipes. Not gonna say anything about the crosses on the ground? Vicious looking things. Almost like meat hooks. <clears throat> More crosses. Combustion meters, measuring temperature, humidity, gas flow, among others. Where? Where are the meters? These? Why would you speak about that? Well, over there. When they're... <sighs> okay, okay. So I suppose I have no choice? Is there any way to see him? No, I guess not. I don't think I have a choice. So sorry. Whatever happened to you down here, it's over now. God, it's his ashes. Ashes. All that remains of my only friend down here. The key Red was guarding for me. Was he trying to keep something hidden? Or was he really trying to protect me? Red's key. Rest in peace, Red. You know you tried to kill me in the spider... spider tunnel. Is this the key to that hydraulic door? Or will I still need to shut off the power in some manner? I guess I need to go this way through this door. Locked. It's that voice again. Reams of books. Where did Red scavenge all these from? There's everything from survival manuals to the collected works of Shakespeare and Kant's ethics. If this was how he spent his time, no wonder he spoke so strangely. He must have led a lifetime of misunderstanding. here. Save point. Red. Must be where he got his name. Well, they're gonna give me a save point, so let's utilize it, even though I might not need it. The chains on his arms are visible now. Not there, out of choice. Father looks on aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows! He knows what has come, what the man has released. The only one who could stop it. Howard knows the real fear. If I never see another one of these things. I don't know, I just don't like them. It smells like a sewer. How did Red sleep on this? Maybe he just didn't sleep. H.G. Wells. Leaving out how Red managed to catch and kill this thing is quite clearly inedible. Poor guy must have been close to starving to death. Maybe he trapped it in a steam trap. Stay closed, please. I can see Red now, sitting here, guiding me. I pro probably wouldn't be standing here now if it wasn't for him. Why did he have to leave me down here alone? I know I'm an amateur at voice acting. 
young fool. My dearest friend, how are you? I am as well as it can be expected. I have some sad news, though. A few days ago, there was some kind of collapse, and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. They may not they may not look for me here, but if they do, and they find me, I'll be in so much trouble. But I don't think I'll have to worry about that, because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now, and I'm really proud that I can send money home. But it's been... It's been pretty tough work, and so far, you're the only person that's really been nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. There's some friendly kind of creepy crawlies, and some books I brought from home that I was taking to taking to the rec room. If you think about it, I was really lucky that I had all this stuff with me. Otherwise, I'd be bored stiff. As it is, I have Shakespeare, Bronte, Nietzsche. Perfect bedtime reading. Although, I suppose I might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. I always used to ask my mum how long people survive without food and things. I read how some people can survive underwater for over five minutes, and some people last in the desert for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water, etc. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around this place, like I said. There's all sorts of creatures here, but they're better off as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go cra cave crazy first. Neither sounds too much fun, I guess, but if I had to choose, I'd say I'd want to go mad. Sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood, proper mine worker, December 1970. Age 14. in here. There's the radio. Red. The door. Liberty or death. Let me die, please. It is hurting. Get out of my head. What's beyond the door? Out. Red is dead. Death! Get off my head! Nobody to talk to. Get out! Noose. Poor Red. I'm so sorry. You're at peace now. Wait a minute. No wonder he was getting hungry. What a final meal. Ration slugs. Still, knowing Red, he probably enjoyed them. What is that referring to? Oh, there they are. How many hours did he spend with his neck in this noose, just trying to end it all? Apparently he didn't like faces on women. Jesus! From the stench, I think this may have been his toilet. I... Ugh. Well, that's not affected by physics. Is it... Ah. It's an electrical panel. Funny place to have one. Hmm. Ah. Electrics may be running out of the door. What to cut them with? Saw works. Yet it's still buzzing as if it's still running. I can't get a hold of it. Okay, crowbar. As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing 
deep down that the pain I had caused Red was itself all of the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until that point was just sympt symptomatic of whatever may lay, lay behind the threshold. I know now I was right. Click to continue. A note. Welcome to the shelter, established 1973, elevated case 4, chief staff 6, lowercase 39, temporary 8, total population 57. Key members, Wilbur Frisk, 80 to present, Bren Stafferson, 73 to 80. <clears throat> chief chemist, Neil Oswald, Troy Rittenesk, RIP 91. Construction unit, Pierre Petit, 72 to 79. Chief Zeno Officer, to be announced, Richard Ar Archbrook, RIP 92. Excavation Unit, to be announced, Technology Unit, Darren Gray, Rod Smith. Away Team, missing, missing in action, Head Chef, Benito Carlo. Chief Translator, Howard Lafresque, 73 to present, last updated, February 18th, 2000. Please have your identity documents ready. I don't have any. My battery's running out, so I might as well just press on with a glow stick. 45 minutes left the recording, okay. Hmm, that looks kind of stretched. There's nothing to do but walk out here. The hell? Is that a one armed man? What's he doing down there, just standing there? Is he transparent? Flashlight is not working. Whatever you are, I'm ready for you. It's locked. It's locked. Oh! With that, the man who had first ascended into the mine was no more. And so began my next chapter. To be continued.